Hi everyone, I am your host, owner and creator of The Mix. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. Welcome, welcome, welcome. As you can see from the title, what this video is going to be about. Yeah, Lori Lightfoot is breaking news all over uh, Twitter and uh, social media. Lori Lightfoot has lost re-election. This is breaking, breaking, breaking. And a shocker to many. Um, yeah, according to New York Times, Mayor Light Lori Lightfoot of Chicago loses her bid for re-election. The result was a resounding defeat that reflected widespread dissatisfaction from voters over her handling of crime. Challengers to her political left and right advance to a runoff. Yeah, this is um an online news article from the New York Times. So go there to read uh, further details. I'm sure they have more information, but this is just an excerpt. But what are you guys um thinking? What is everyone thinking? Where are all the Chicago people? Is this what you wanted? Is this what the majority wants? And evidently, yes. And I believe Paul Vallis and Brandon, I think his last name is Jennings or something like that, He's African American. They will um, proceed to the next round, which is a runoff. Um, so yeah, yeah, yeah. So Mary, uh, Mary Lori Lightfoot lost re-election. Lost re-election. I know this is big in Chicago. Where are all the Chicagoans at? Is this what you guys wanted? Um, I'm in Illinois, but I no longer reside in Chicago. So, um, yeah, I really don't have a dog in this <laughs> fight or race, so to speak, but I do have, um, I, there's connections, a lot of connections I have to Chicago. So, uh, but this is, this is hot news. Uh, a lot of people from, um, uh, across all cultures was, had no confidence, had lost confidence in Lori Lightfoot based off of what I've um, heard and read so um, from people personally and um, also through um, various media news outlets over the past years you know confidence has been lost and uh, downtown Chicago is just businesses have left at a rapid rate like where are the taxes coming from the taxes far as for the community is seems like since the businesses are have left ma majority of I'm not gonna say majority but most major businesses have left the city and I think the Chicago Bears is slated to leave the city as well so hmm taxpayers from what I hear it's alleged that they are left Chicago residential taxpayers are left with the burden of higher property taxes to uh, make up for areas that tax revenue is not coming from because so many commercial businesses have um, left due to crime, due to crime. Crime on Michigan Avenue, Magnificent Mile, that is, oof, when I was younger, that's, it was, it was beautiful downtown. I mean, it's still beautiful now. They gentrified the, the west side and um, parts of the south side so it's more of a diverse community even up, up north and it's beautiful but it's just the, the the crime the crime is astronomical uh, i think it's more than what it, it was i would say in the early 2000s i believe you know i'm not i don't have any studies or data in front of me but yeah it's um Crime is what ran a lot of major businesses out of uh, Chicago. Yeah, crime, crime. I think McDonald's, I think Corp left. Uh, I think Boeing Corp left and they were downtown Chicago. These are some major hitters and wow, just think about the money. And um, yeah, so although like I stated, downtown is beautiful. It is downtown Chicago is beautiful, magnificent mile, lakefront, all of that. But it's like, can you really enjoy it? You know. So, um, 
we shall see. We shall see you guys breaking news. What are your, your thoughts? Even if you're not in Illinois or Chicago, what are your thoughts from a political perspective? Do you think this was a good move? Maybe the citizens have um, um, awakened <laughs> and trying to take the city back, so to speak, in terms of trust within maybe law enforcement to um, to facilitate it, to, to help with combat crime. Of course, not through police brutality but you you hopefully you get my point so yeah what do you guys think what do you guys think breaking news Lori Lightfoot has lost re-election and Twitter oh my gosh Twitter is just off the chain uh, in terms of comments tweets oh my gosh why are they calling this lady lady Beetlejuice it says, uh, oh my gosh, someone comment, Beetlejuice bites the Beetlejuice bites the dust. Chicago outs embattled Mayor Lori Lightfoot as race heads to runoff without her. Wow. Twitter is ooh. <laughs> Oh my gosh, some of these comments the another comment, Beetlejuice has been beat. Oh my gosh. Chicago said Beetlejuice three times and finally rid themselves of Lori Lightfoot. Don King's, what? No, I'm not going to read all of that, but by Felicia. It's at the end. <laughs> wow. They are, oh my gosh. And the these tweets are from a variety of people too. Of course, I know probably some tweets are not from people who live in Illinois or Chicago, but <laughs> these are um, some hilarious tweets. <laughs> Beetlejuice concedes. Wow. Oh my gosh, you guys. This tweet. It says garbage pail libs. Wow. Lefty Lori. Lefty Lori. Congratulations, Chicago. Beetlejuice is out. Wow. These oh, Twitter is vicious. Vicious, vicious, vicious. Oh my gosh. But yeah, these are some of the tweets coming in on Twitter. Um, I'm in the Midwest. Illinois and it's kind of late so uh, I'm just up scouring social media <laughs> and saw that oh Chicago is trending what oh yeah election it was election today was election day oh what Lori what what has lost the election later Beetlejuice wow they are really Beetlejuice Lori Lightfoot becomes the first Chicago mayor in 40 years to lose re-election. Wow. Wow. Ooh, wow. Wow. But they were saying too that she um based off of media reports I've read over the past like year or so, even just seeing um her news conference, press conference, she just seemed a bit disconnected with what her constituents wanted and um seemed like she kind of ruled with with an iron fist and it was her way no way no room to negotiate or compromise so i mean i can see i can see that this 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 happening i can see that because if you don't have room to compromise or negotiate i mean then it's just simply a dictatorship and this is just my opinion so I can see why the um her constituents, uh, the residents, you know, Chicagoans said, "Hey, you know what? No, let's enough is enough. We're gonna try a different route. Bye. You know, you're fired. You're fired. <laughs> In my Trump voice, you're fired. <laughs> oh my gosh. But yeah, I think we all should take this this approach when it comes to political officials." <laughs> congressmen all of that <laughs> senators that's it yeah so what are your thoughts chicago's tap in drop a comment drop a comment drop a comment and um go ahead and like and share this video like and share like and share like and share and um those who have yet to subscribe go ahead and subscribe to my channel and um like share subscribe everyone like share and subscribe uh, if you're interested in donating to my channel, the mix to enhance content creation for my channel, my cash app is listed in the comment, 
not comment section, but my cash shop is listed in the description section as well as my Zelle. So feel free to donate if um, that's what you would like to do. And again, all donations are towards, um, go, is going towards uh, my ability to just create better content in some way, shape or form for my channel. And I appreciate it. Thank you guys in advance for any donations received. Um, again, like, share, subscribe. Thank you for tuning into the mix. I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.